I've got to that point where I can actually tell when someone's actually stereotyping me without actually having to speak to them because it's the looks, the vibes, the way they they move their heads or the way they look up, look at you up and down, the way they smile at you, the way that they ignore you, maybe roll their eyes. All these things come into play. And now that I've actually been through it for so long, I can actually say, well, walk past this person, that person stereotyping me. They've already got an idea in their head of what I am or who I am or what I'm about. I would say, uh, off my own back, probably since I was at 14, obviously, uh, those are certain roads that I decided to go down that made me be that person in the first place. But you have to realise, kids get stereotyped as well. When you're a little youth and you know you come from a different country that's not from England, you come into England, you don't dress by the English dress code because you don't know about it. So when you go to the park or you go to school, you'll have kids that will stereotype you because they don't know better. Sometimes it's because of the parents or the environment that they're around. But the majority of the time it's because they, they don't understand who you are or what you're about. Why you like to dress that way or why you like to talk or act that way. So generally, they'll stereotype you anyway. Um, when I first came here, around about this time last year, I did not want to be here at all. I was kicking off and all sorts of problems. Um, since I actually came here, I spoke to um, one of the managers and start to explain about who I am as a person. They explain to me about what they are as an organisation. I've come from, they helped me with counselling to help me get over certain things within myself and within the past. Um, they've helped me with jobs, job interviews, getting clothes for jobs. They've just helped me with housing. I've got a new um, tenancy that I'm taking on now. They helped me set everything up, getting touch with the agencies, the people. Um, everything's starting to build slowly. I mean, uh, they helped me, they put me in touch with Princess Trust. Princess Trust that helped me to develop my own business and what I would like to do for my business, what I would like to have it about and where I'm looking to go. Of course, I had to go down there how many times? I think the last time I actually went down there, I got arrested because my dog bit the, the bus seat. Yeah. I've been there from when they first started digging it up. Before they even started digging it up, I've actually seen the process that this has happening months before it even did. The plans and everything. I mean, over there, look at it now, and only a couple of months ago, we never had none of that. It's a big open field there. This was a road. This is another road there. If you dig up the road, you can actually see now where the timelines are going to be going. The development in such a short time is just, it's amazing. It shows you what we can actually do as people, as human beings. Ah, it's a shame I'm moving. A couple more years from now, I'll be taking the tram to Meadows. <laughs> If you ain't at the age to go to the park and play with the facilities, then there's nothing else around here for you to do. With the boys club? I mean, yeah, I met a boys club, but like, days like this, do you think everyone wants to be inside playing pool or table tennis or, you know, they want to be out doing activities, going somewhere, playing football, going to a little park where there's some water, like a fountain or something so they can run through. I mean, everyone's hot, they need to be doing, bless G, they need to be doing good things. They need to provide for the community. They ain't providing nothing for the community. So obviously, when you don't want to be in Meadow Boys because it's too hot, maybe too far because you live on this side of Meds, cool. You know, so that, that side over there is too far to be walking from over here to over there all the time. I mean, so there's nothing actually really there for you to do. They've got a big community center, Queen's Walk Community Center. Since I've lived in Meadows, which has been since 2010, I've, I've never actually seen any event in that community center for any generation Younger than the age of 30. Coming back from planning all of that. Spider. Spiders, <clears throat> what I would say right about now, I call one of the main influences in Meadows at the moment. I mean, um, in a good way, this is. 
because we haven't had, or Meadows the area, our community hasn't had no publicity in the sense of anyone doing anything good or positive. Like anything bad happens, don't get me wrong, they're, they're quick to fly down and say, oh yeah, Meadows, you know, same old Meadows. I haven't really experienced that as such. I've experienced one or two things, but you know, when something good happens, Spider's put together a couple video shoots, um, his mixtape is out there, a couple tracks, you know, brought people in to try and do something, inspire people that haven't even bothered to think about writing music before to actually put pen to paper. I'm just trying to change my life. I'll be out here day and night. It could be raining, it could be sunny. I'm just trying to change my life. I'll be out here day and night. It could be raining or sunshine. As long as I'm blowing, I'll be out here day and night. When it's snowing, when it's snowing. When it's snowing. When it's snowing. Since Spider started what he's doing and so structured about it and know what he wants, I mean, you've seen, you've seen a change now within the community, within the people, because now you get people that, like, yeah, walk one, says G, like, yeah, I heard you're doing a mixtape, or, you know, can I jump in, like, oh, I heard that, I saw that video shoot, yeah, man, shout at me next time, so it's actually bringing people, same thing I was talking about earlier on, where people are not pulling together, it's bringing people together, so. I actually can grab Spider on that and um, I hope that actually goes well for him because he's a great artist. As a person, he's a good person and I can see he'll be an even better artist when he gets deeper into it. I'm just trying to change my life I'll be out in day and night It could be raining or sunshine As long as I'm blowing I'll be out here when it's snowing Yo G, what one? No, you don't say I'm talking to your fucking next door neighbour. I'm talking to the best of because I said one second, I heard the man shine. Yes, Steve, what are you saying with them? <laughs> you dick. <laughs> what are you saying though, G? Where are you at? Uh, I'm at my uncle's home, finishing like 10 minutes. Finishing up? Well, so, what do you want? Well, who's going to come knock your door? I don't know. That was yeah, yeah, whole... yeah. I'm going to my room, my girl's out of mine, so I'll just go to my first anyway. So. Yeah, get, yeah the, get the girl dressed, innit? Get the missus dressed. Yeah, you, don't, you don't want me coming around there and she's in lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I never shut you still. What went on anyway? What went on? I'm going to take a walk somewhere, man. It's too hot to be indoors. No, we're not going to be indoors. We're just doing a like, quick uh, chatting about certain things. We're definitely going to take a walk. Without a doubt. Definitely taking a walk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, while, while you're being gay, I'm going to head to the shop now and probably get a fag or something. <laughs> Uh, what, shall I shout you back? Shall I shout you back or are you going to shout me? I'll probably just sit on my mind. I'll probably just sit on my waist mind, innit? Alright then, fam. Say nothing, G. Bless you. Alright, bless fam. As you can see, there's really not really much that we can do out here. Like, there's not really much going on. Boring days, we just sit at home, play some music, just vibe. Windows open, that, you know, let everyone hear the music, maybe chill out in the back, or the same old same. If it weren't for the music and the things that we've actually got going on for us, I mean, no telling what we'd be doing or dealing with right about now. A lot of my times, you just spent even with my company. Computers, all my music, uh, it takes my mind off a lot of things, but I get a little stressed, a little pissed off, I turn to this, definitely. Provision over there, this is where we shot um, Young Pops, part of the Young Pops video. No, when three bridges was up, way back, way so back, hard, back. police set cameras up, yeah. and yeah. that got squashed. Enough elders got locked, yeah. and I yeah. was yeah. just a pup. Yeah. 15 yeah. years later, that turned into us. It's a nice little walk around here sometimes, you know, just come chill out. You've got your people, you might want to go on the field, just have a little kick about, or a little something, smoke, or whatever you do. Like I said, there's not really much to do, but it's funny how. Even when there's nothing to do, we always find a way to make something out of nothing. Solo saw me, fam. You didn't see shit. I did. I, I see that. Go, go, go. Yes, cameraman. Say G. It can't be. It's it can't so be. Cool. What are you? It's, it's, it's massive. You got the thumbs on. Wow. Fuck it up. Not a game. What's LD saying? 
I ain't seen him since yesterday. That's madness what I heard about fucking when I make it for them not coming down to him with us. It's madness. And then for them to turn around and say that they're gonna squash it anyway. Like they shouldn't even be coming to man's house like that. Wait till you see man on the road or something. Oh, no, it's true, yeah, it's true. You got 25. Uh, no, I got 30. Yeah. No, have you got 25 on yet? Yeah. 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 Now I must stress, they want to search everyone. See, they all day walking around with it. Said, yes, I'm going home now, going back to the end. I'm going to drink this, get fucked. The bottle just went pshhh out of my hand. Yes, what do you mean? You went pshhh. Yeah, just dropped out of my hand. Oh, really? Put it blew up in your hand, right? Like, just dropped out of my hand, just smashed on the ground, like. And obviously, I was pissed, because I looked at the time, I'm like, oh, five o'clock, can't even go with it, because I'm going to go with it. I was ruined, this is the only food shop you've got. The only food shop. How are you going to have one food shop? I'll let you into a little secret. Shit. The only food shop we've got in the hood. Uh, nothing else is popping out there. Nothing, nothing else is going on. We've got co op, a sandwich bar that's closed down. It used to be the Caribbean shop. You know? uh, make sure you get this part. The Caribbean shop. Yeah. Bless you. you know? Yeah, like living in Medes, yeah. So it's not to do with like there's no opportunity or nothing like. To be honest, if I had a choice, I wouldn't live in Medes car. Everything's just negative around there, like there's no positives going on, there's not like no job fairs around there. It's like the government don't really care about the community in Medes, man. It's sad still. It's sad still.